Parallel structure or parallelism in words. Grammar Wired grades 9 through 12. Parallel structure. Google the word parallel and you will find that it has many uses. It can be an adjective, a noun, and a verb. For grammar, we will use it as an adjective. As an adjective, parallel basically means that two or more items are closely related or similar and that they act in the same manner. Sentence elements that have the same function should be alike or parallel. When words are joined by coordinating conjunctions such as and, but, and or, they should have the same form or be parallel. Faulty. Meredith made brownies, cookies, and she baked a pie. Here we have two nouns, brownies, cookies, and then a clause, she baked a pie. Correct version would be, Meredith made brownies, cookies, and a pie. There we have three nouns. Here's another faulty sentence. Sean has been swimming, running, and has been lifting weights. We have a verb phrase, a participle, and a verb phrase. Sean has been swimming, running, and lifting weights. There we have three participles, sharing has been. Here's another faulty one. The testimony was given clearly, openly, and with honesty. We have two adverbs there, clearly and openly, and then a prepositional phrase, which means that honesty is a noun. The testimony was given clearly, openly, and honestly. Now we have three adverbs. Let's look at another example. He will either be playing, eating, or to sleep. There are two gerunds, playing and eating, and one infinitive, to sleep. Here's a correct version. He will either be playing, eating, or sleeping. Now we have three gerunds. Another example, the sign said to look, but no touching. We have one infinitive and one gerund. It would be better to say the sign said to look, but not touch. Two infinitive sharing, too.